Hey everyone, what's up? Tim Record Shot here. And um, so I just finished recording a um, Modern Warfare 3 commentary. And um, I decided before I um, uh, started to render it that why not um, make a tutorial on how I do my commentary process. So yeah, uh, um, I decided to go over that. So basically I am starting here. Um, these, these programs that I use, I'm just using Fraps, Camstasia, or Camtasia, sorry, and um, After Effects to render. Um, you can render in Camtasia though. Um, I just choose to render in After Effects because I have some nice render settings that make the file size really small but um, still have full really nice 720p um, quality which helps with upload times and stuff like that. So yeah, um, and I'm gonna I'm gonna go over those render, render settings. So basically I'm in Camtasia and first thing you want to do is um, in order to record your gameplay and get it on your computer, what do I do, what do, I do is um, I have a, um, a a monitor that is not 1280 by 720p, or, uh, 1280 by 720, which is um, 720p. Um, so basically, what I do is I go into Modern Warfare 3, I play my games, whatever, um, and I put whatever games I want to save onto my online vault, and then I go back and I open them up in the online vault. Um, and then replay them and record using Fraps, this program right here. Um, I record at 30 frames per second, full size, um, and yeah, that's what I use. And so, um, basically, uh, um, once you, you you can go into the Modern Warfare 3 settings and change the options. I change um, it to windowed, and then I change it to 1280 by 720, so that when Fraps records, it records it in the dimensions of 1280 by 720. And once you record that, um, I pretty much put it in a just a folder called Commentary, and um, I put those. Uh, let's see right here. I put those video clips in here and just number them in order because Fraps breaks uh, breaks these up, um, sort of. And so yeah, I have one, two, three, and four. And then we open up Camtasia, and then you go to Import Media, and you import each of these clips. So if you import them, I'm just going to use one um, for demonstration purposes. You drag it in the timeline, and it's going to ask you what size you want your video to be. Select 1280 by 720p, which is the recording dimensions, which is what it should be um, if you set it that way in Fraps. And that is your dimensions of when you played the game. Now, you don't have to play in 1280 by 720p when you record the the. Uh, um, when you when you're playing the game, it doesn't have to be in 1280 by 720p. If you have a higher resolution monitor, you can play at high, higher resolution. But when you record it from your online vault, change it to 1280 by 720p. Um, is that if if that is what um, what you wish it to be? And so I have my clip here, and then uh, Camtasia makes it really uh, easy. You can go to more down here and go to voice narration, and you can set your input level of the mic here, and um, set your settings up like this, and press start recording and it will play the video and you talk over it and um, then after you're done you press stop recording and it'll give you a dot wave file and um, it will uh, it'll ask you to save it um, and I recommend saving it just in case something happens so your commentary is there and it'll automatically import the wave file let me put um, let me grab that wave file that I um, did it's right here and you just import it and you drag it underneath into the audio too and boom your commentary is ready to go and um that it you 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 can um bring this this audio clip in if you plan to render it in camtasia if you do not once you re you can use camtasia to do just the um, voice narration it makes it really easy um and so that is how i record my actual commentary then um you can go if you want to render in after effects basically open up um after effects your dot wave file should be saved somewhere on your desktop um, do uh, basically import your all of your clips. Um, so I'm going to go to file import multiple files because it is broken up. Um, let's see, commentary folder right here. Open this up and import one, two, and three and four. And basically what you can do once you have all four of these the easiest way is to select all of them and drag them onto this new composition button right here and you press a uh, single composition you just want it to make one composition and you want it to sequence the layers um, and if you press OK and you're using the dimensions um, for this recorded video so it automatically sets up your composition 1280 by 720 and sequences your layers boom your video is good to go it is the exact length um, 
that you need it to be, and the other file that you need to import that I should have imported is your uh, .wav file. So just import that and drag that down into here. And now, boom, you have your uh, video and commentary. And one thing you really you do want to do is um, for a commentary, you definitely want to lower the audio for the gameplay. So if you go into here under each one of these video clips, which you can of course rename if you would like, and you go under audio right here and under audio levels, I usually set this to about negative 20 and that will bring the audio of the actual gameplay sound down. Um, you don't want it to be completely muted, but you do want it to be softer than your actual commentary voice. And sometimes this dot .wav file is a little bit too loud, so I might set it to about negative 3. Definitely though, so that this is this audio file is higher in levels than these and um, even though it's at the bottom you'll still hear it very well so um, now that you, whenever you have your uh, your settings set up and you're ready to render basically go to composition and add to render queue and the, what you want to do right here is you want to copy these settings you want to click on this best settings right here Next quality is f uh, best full 12 video by 720, uh, 720p uh, use comps frame rate 30 press OK, go to lossless, this is the most important part, you want to set it to Windows Media let's wait for it to do that, okay good, and you want to click this audio output checkbox right here, this is very important um, you definitely want your audio to be outputted, you want to go into format options um, and if, under here if you go to the presets, if you set, select HDTV 720p 30 medium quality um, select that. We're not going to use the medium quality. Um, I use I bump the image quality down here all the way up to 100, and I set the maximum bit rate to maximum, um, and I set the frame rate here to 30 frames per second, just like the video. And everything is looking good. These settings are fine right here. Um, it the quality will still come out great. Um, and this is full. If you watch my commentaries that I'm going to put up, that is the quality that. Um, the these this settings um, produce for the video so if you want to see how this looks watch my commentaries um, put it in 720p and you can see how great it is and the file sizes are really low I have like 12 minute videos 720p they're only like 800 megabytes so it's great press OK make sure this audio um, output checkbox is checked again press OK and then your output to right here uh, name it and um, put it where you want and then press the render button and then upload it to YouTube and that's pretty much it guys so um, thank you for watching this is the process of how I upload my commentaries and um, if you guys would like to watch my commentaries um, I think I might put the link in the description or just check out my channel thank you guys for watching and as always have a nice day see you guys later